everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a really fun Easter favour kind of packaging idea. I'm actually going to be using these for an Easter egg hunt. So rather than hiding Easter eggs, I'm going to be hiding carrots. I do like to make carrots at Easter time. This is the third or the fourth carrot packaging idea that I have. So if you click up here, you will see the Easter playlist and they'll be in there. But the style of these are actually just little pouches and I've made these pouches in different sizes across the years as well. So I will put these in a set separate pouch playlist and you'll find that up here. So I've done some lovely blue ones for my best friend's baby shower a few years ago. I've made a smaller size which was just as a nice little gift box idea and then by making them thinner and taller you can create this kind of carrot effect. On the top there you'll see there's a cute little rabbit clip here which my friend Tatty sent me and I thought that went really well. Unfortunately I don't know where these are from but you know any kind of little bunny clips that you might have would work really well. So I've currently got five, I'm going to make the sixth one with you now and show you what's inside. So a couple of weeks ago I purchased the chicks, the little sheep and the rabbits or bunnies and these are from Aldi. Very inexpensive, lovely chocolate and I wanted these for my Easter kind of gifts. So each of the carrots will hold six of these bunnies and I have another little of the clips there. So these are really easy to make, you need very little tools. You want to cut yourself two pieces of four by eight cardstock. So you can get two of these from a sheet of a letter size or A4. And then what I've done is I've ran some red tape down the right hand side. And then if you turn it over just along the bottom here, okay. This tape here is the, well it's half, it's half an inch or six mil okay the thicker the tape you use here the less space you're going to have inside so if you've got the very thin red liner tape like the three mil then that would be good as well but you just want to run a strip like I said down the right hand side and then along the bottom just make sure that's all secure and then before I take the tape off I like to just Add a curve to the cardstock, it's going to help you pop this into its shape. Like so. And then you want to remove the sticky tape from both parts, so along here and also in here. And then I've got the sticky on the left hand side here. I'm going to roll it over so it's on the top here. And then you're just going to lay this one down over the top. So just line it up. I'm starting with the bottom there and then just working my way along. And you don't want to try not to squash this. You need to keep it in a tube shape because you're going to be sticking each end in a different orientation. So once that's stuck down, you see I've got my tube, which is why it's good to add that curve. And then I'm just going to go in there and make sure it's stuck down. Now the end of the sticky tape, which is in here, squeeze it so you have your join on the side. So you see now, just squeezing that. It reminds me of the Clippo ice lolly, or ice pops. The bottom there, it's just the same as those. Probably the same width actually as well. Okay, so you'll have that. And you'll see now already you're starting to get that shape. So we've gone, we've, we've flattened it along this side, but then we're going to flatten it this way at this end. So you see, so you've got it facing you know, it's kind of flat and facing you. This time you want the point facing you at this end. I'm going to just squeeze that. And I'm going to squeeze down about an inch and a half. Okay. And then you'll see you'll be able to pop it open. So I'm going to pop my treats inside. Okay. And then, and then lay it down with the folded side underneath and just fold over about half an inch and just burnish and then fold over another half an inch. And that's what I can do with these sweets inside. Okay, you might only be able to fold it once. You might want to make yours taller, you can do that. I'm then using my hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole in each of these sides here. So, it's just your standard um, hole punch size. And you don't need to really measure it. Eyeballing it will be enough. But you'll see now I've got my holes there. 
I've then got this ribbon. I purchased this a long time ago. It was just hanging on my door with my other colours. I believe I got it from the range when I purchased a lot of their rolls of ribbon they had maybe two years ago. It was like a pound for 12 metres. I purchased loads of it. It was in one of my older What Did I Get videos. But I'm just feeding that through. Now before I tie it off I want to finish my kind of little grass hair here. So this piece is roughly um, two and three quarters by two and a half will be fine. And you can see I've started cutting along. Now I do have the vegetable scissors which will, well they're meant for cutting and making your vegetables look nice but I've used them in many tutorials to make my faux grass but I wanted them very thin for this and the thinner you go they actually start to curl on their own as well whereas the vegetable scissors it's quite thick so you can see here I'm just cutting, sometimes I cut them right off, but I just want very thin little strips there. I'm just going to remove that end bit. But can you see it's already oh, started to naturally kind of curl. It just looks, I think, quite authentic. Now you could ink this up if you want to, but I'm just going to keep it like so. And then I'm just going to fold it over itself twice. So I'm going to kind of fold it like so, and then fold it over again. A bit like folding a letter when you pop a letter in an envelope and you'll see now my width of that is about well, seven eighths of an inch and then I'm just going to grab a little glue pop a little glue inside there seal that up and then I'm going to pop some more glue on the outside and then you're going to just pop it behind the ribbon there and then you can pull the ribbon taut and it will cover the bottom of the grass so it keeps everything really nice and neat and then whilst that's kind of drying I just pull all of the grass apart you can really manipulate this and pop it into shape and you'll see that you get a really cool carrot top I think it looks great, I like that a lot so now I'm just going to buy a bow in this and now all that's left to do is add my little bunny just to the side there and you have what I think to be the cutest Easter hunt gift or prize or treat. I think they look lovely. They're also great for table favours. You could have these you know at everybody's place at the table but also they look really nice in the baskets that I make. So last year I and the year before I've made carrots in baskets and again you'll see all those in the playlist but for anybody that's new if you change the colour of the bow I'm actually filling this with lovely treats and some gifts for my nephew and I'm going to have his name on a gift tag but you could if you imagine here you could pop all your carrots inside this basket and have them popping out the side so I'll link this basket as well if you've missed like I said or if you're a new subscriber um, it's really fun to do very easy and just makes really nice personalized Easter gifts so I hope you've enjoyed another Easter tutorial from me today all the playlists, everything would have been shared along. I'll also pop those carrot inspired treats just coming up now. And if you haven't subscribed and you've liked today's tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back very soon. Bye.